Hello Mountain Chums, me again today. We're back in Great Langdale on a slightly overcast morning with the possibility of a three Wainwright day. Pico Blisco, Colt Pike and Crinkle Crags parked in the old Dungeon Gill. From here we follow the road up towards Blee Tarn where we don't go that far, we'll break off right. Wainwright called this first hill Pico Blisco the Ordnance Survey called it Pike of Blisco, which Wainwright calls its Sunday name. He also said, the man has no blood in his veins. He does not respond eagerly to its fine sounding swashbuckling name. Pike of Blisco does sound quite adventurous. We follow the road up past Red Acre Gill when we're on the other side of it, the path breaks left. Aha, and here is our footpath. The slight herdy traffic jam up ahead. Come on, sheeps. So we cross over that little tributary to Red Acre Gill and the path is absolutely dead ahead. All the sheep are coming off Kettle Crag, which is off to the right. Occasionally see a shepherd bouncing around between the crags. One of the perennial problems with very high mountains is you have to go all the way up to get to them. Having said that, of course, with Pike of Blisco, there is another way, which is to go up the Rhinos Pass to the Three Shires Stone. And that will save you an awful lot of the walking. On the other side of the valley are the Langdale Pikes. Pretty epic set of hills that we've done before. So if you'd like to have a look at them, just click on the link. As tiring as these ascents often are, it's quite nice every now and then to look back and see how far you've come. She blows. Pike of Lisco. Summit Cairns coming and going in the mist. From here we have to pick our way up through the crags. This path goes quite nicely up to the base of them, but I think we'll know it when we see it. From here it looks pretty daunting, but there we go. I'm sure it will be fine. I mean if you're seeing this, it probably ended up fine. It feels like everywhere else in Lakeland, it's turning out to be quite a nice day. Better than here, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a day on the hill. A day on the hill is not a day wasted. A little bit of scrambling awaits. Actually, there are two routes here. 
One is straight up the gully and the other is off to the left and diagonally across. Probably the diagonal one is the easier of the two. I'll be honest, I was hoping that was going to look more impressive than it probably does, but there we go. <laughs> and from here we pick our way up through the boulders towards the summit. It's only made some height. Always reassuring to see this little line of cans dotting their way up through the mist. Don't make your own though. Looks like a steep one. Plenty of handholds, but pay attention. There you go, Pike of Blisco. A swashbuckler indeed. 705 meters, 2,313 feet. And as much cloud as we had on the way up, there's really quite a good view. The only problem from here is you have to go quite a long way down, get the path round. From here we head down to Red Tarn and follow the fairly obvious path up towards Great Knot. We're not actually going towards Great Knob, we're going to go round to Cold Pike, which is another Wainwright. Take a route off left over to Colt Pike. There's not very clear markers, but there's one here which is a cairn 
and you can clearly see the path. I try and keep to Mark's path as much as he can, obviously, but this does feel like a good one. Could do without the mist. <laughs> I think I see an unherded herdy up ahead. Try saying that three times quickly. I, I'm not going to try. Look at you, you little rebels. This is Cold Pike, 701 meters, 2,300 feet. It's the head of Upper Eskdale, which is off sort of in that direction in the mist. You'll have to trust me on that. Fortunately from here, the route to Crinkle Crags is pretty straight. We don't have to come back the wiggly way we came up. So we'll head off over towards the other cairn, which is over there, and then turn right, and it's pretty much straight on. the approach to the crags. We're slowly approaching Crinkle Crags. Gladstone Knot off to the right. Coming up to Great Cove. There are commonly held to be five crinkles and crinkle crags, but the summit is called Long Top. I see a big can directly ahead. See anything, but then I couldn't with all my glasses missed it up. As it says on the map, cans. Crinkle Crags is of course notorious for having its bad step. We'll have a look at that and we'll see 
if we can see anything given the weather. You might just be able to make out the bad step up here. Let's go and have a look. Bad step is only really best attempted south to north. If you're coming north to south, best to avoid it. And there are plenty of routes around. In fact, that is the main footpath now on the OS map. Yeah. Not for me today, I think. Like castle battlements. Uh. You guarding the crinkles. the top of Crinkle Crags, 859 metres, 2818 feet, it's long top which is Wainwright's top of the hill. <laughs> Wainwright said that this summit is much too good to be missed, this is a climb deserving of high priority. And it's not to me, it's just, you know, come see if they... Okay. That's top of Crinkle Crags. There are four more crinkles to do, and they lie north. That does the way off, so we're going to go there. Come on. It's definitely wet now. These are good sized cans, you're not going to miss them. Don't miss them. They're quite important. Briefing.
Shelter crags are off to my right and we're getting close to the point where we turn off for the band. It is a confusing mix of paths up here. Fortunately some kind people have put some very good cairns but also some people have put very confusing cairns. So um, keep your eyes peeled. And then last crinkle, let's get it done. I mean, we're here now. over two and a half thousand feet which would account for all the um, everything in case it's not clear we're not doing both hell today Bofell is up there and there's another thousand odd feet which I don't feel the need to do today. Shame about the weather, but as Wainwright says, no such thing as bad weather, only the wrong clothes. I mean, he's wrong, there is bad weather. We've seen some of it today and it's been a bit annoying, but at the same time, it's been fun in its own very, very wet way. Okay, and it's starting to rain again now. Well, that's about it from me thank you very much for watching if indeed you still are if you've enjoyed this do please like and subscribe join us once again for a wainwright walk stay safe Little bit of movie trivia for you. This bridge was in Brief Encounter. Celia Johnson and Trevor Howard leaning on that bridge. Probably just on Crinkle Crags. I mean, they look quite upset, but you know. From Pike of Lisco, we head down towards Red Tarn and then follow the fairly obvious path up towards. Brrr.